at Creatives AI made creating ads more simple and less time consuming. When creating ads, the goal is to have high returns and that's what you'll get with Ad Creative. This amazing tool can help you generate ads with the exact goal that you have in mind. Also, while providing multiple options for you. Now, in this video, I will tell you everything that you need to know to get started with this program. Now, if you want to give Ad Creative AI a try, please do make sure to click my personal link in the description below to use Ad Creative AI for free. But if you are serious about creating high converting ads, I fully recommend getting the premium plan on Ad Creative AI. Let's get straight into the program. So when you're on your dashboard page, what you're going to do is you're going to come on to the left hand side where you're going to see the brand section. Now on the Ad Creative home page, again, just click on brands and once you click on brands it's going to open this brand list for you so here you can see see your projects and create new ones under the selected brand now obviously to you know start creating ads we're going to need to create an, a proper brand you know because a brand actually constitutes what we're representing what we want to you know actually show the audience and all that so yeah basically in those cases a brand is very necessary so to create a brand just click on create a brand section over here and once you do that obviously there's a few prompts that you're gonna have to fill okay ad creator will guide you through the process step by step so you're gonna need to you know add the website add your brand name there's the brand logo color select and a whole lot of other things which i'm gonna take you through right now so first of all there's the website okay so you're gonna add the website url that you're actually gonna add so uh this could be totally random this doesn't really need to be proper so let's say i want to make a shoe website right so for a shoe website we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna write drop kicks dot io okay i'm just gonna call it that now we're gonna switch over to brand name okay so drop kicks io is my website name then we're gonna go over to brand name and in brand name we're going to go ahead and search uh, and write the name of our proper brand. So obviously drop hops. OK, so let's call it drop hops. Then there's the brand logo. OK, so, you know, you could keep any, you know, type of logo for this example. I'm just going to go with the Nike logo just to give you guys an example. OK, now you can also use the remove the proper background of this image. You know, that just makes it look kind of better or if you don't want to use your credits because you know you don't have a lot of additional credits so you could just go ahead and write remove dot bg okay you're just going to go ahead and write that this is a free background remover online okay 100 percent automatic 100 percent free so we're just going to lead ourselves to this page over here and once you come over to this page what you're going to do over here is you're going to click on upload image once you click on upload image you're going to go with any image that you want to go with and there's remove background uh, so and once you go on remove background you're going to click on download there we go so there's your download then what you're going to do is you're going to come over to the same brand logo section and you're going to find the image and there you go so that's how simple it is then as you can see as you add the logo with it it also changes your color select so you can see the main color has changed subheading description everything has changed then comes your brand description okay this is a really important aspect of it because this is where basically uh they're gonna optimize and summarize the image type and the styling of everything okay this is where they're gonna they're gonna optimize it so do make sure that the brand description is quite precise now you can go with the you know something that you've written down yourself but i would much rather prefer if you go with chat gpt now you're probably wondering why would i recommend you chat gpt now the reason for that is because you need to write down a lot of information about that because the more info you give the more accurate the ai can be with generating the ad so i'm gonna go here and we're gonna move over to chat gpt to actually discuss what kind of prompt you have to give it and trust me the prompt is very simple all you're gonna do is you're gonna write i want you to write me a description for a shoe brand called drop hops okay we're just gonna write that and once we do that obviously it's gonna write us a proper full flesh description in like the matter of seconds and it's obviously gonna write you a good description it's not gonna you know half work it or something like that so we're gonna get the proper 
styling of everything. So as we can see, as the whole description is being generated and you know everything is going according to plan, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy this. Copy it as much as you can because uh, the limit automatically cuts off the uh, sentences that can't go in. So you're gonna just paste what you copied and there you go. So we just added everything and I think that's all of it, yeah. So once you add the whole detail of your brand, you're just gonna go ahead and finally click on create brand. Just make sure to second check everything. Brand name, brand logo, yeah, everything seems good to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on create brand. Now, once you do that, this is where the fun stuff starts. So you've created a brand, okay? Now in that brand, you can go ahead and create different types of things, okay? So what do I mean by different types of things? First of all, we're going to go into ad creators, which is basically what we're here for. You know, this is the main powerhouse of this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on click ad creatives because this is where we're going to create ads. And over here, these are different creative formats that you can go with. So uh, let's say these are common sizes for social media advertising. You know, this is the basic post size for Instagram. This is for your Facebook. Again, this is for your Instagram, Facebook, you know, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. You get the point. So I'd say the best right now is going to be post size, which is 1080 by 1080, which is the most basic uh, social media trim size, I guess. So I'm going to go best with this. Then you're going to go down and you're going to click on next step. Now, once you do that, this is also a very, very important part because this is where you're going to be generating a few texts okay so you know there's uh these different types of uh, image headline text so you can add headlines punch lines call to actions and a whole lot more now basically you're gonna fill out this as much as you can and put as much detail as you can you know because you don't actually need to be a copywriter when you're using ad creative but to create the right branding, you will need some text to go along with your ad. So as I stated, you'll be needing a headline, a punchline, a call to action text, and one more. So what's great about Ad Creative is that you don't need to figure all these out by yourself. Simply click your generate text section, add some basic stuff and uh, things that they're asking you. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to write draw pops, you know, the name. Then you're going to have the project text tone. So let's go ahead with, um, let's go with enthusiastic. And there's the output language. Obviously, I'm going to go with English. Then your target audience, shoe enthusiast, call to action. I'm going to go with buy now for 50% off. And once we do this, I'm going to click on save and generate. Now, once you click on save and generate, what's going to happen from there is that you're going to get all these different types of, uh, you know, prompts. So ready to redefine your tech style, step up your style, upgrade your style. These are basically all your, uh, you know, call to actions and all that. Now, basically, first of all, what you can do over here is you can customize these texts differently. So let's say if I click over here, you can see we get variations of the same text. So I'm going to go with this looking for shoe that makes a different statement. And then you can also change the sentiment. So let's say I'm going to go with informal. OK, let's see what informal gives us shoe that makes a statement in it so you know pretty informal but pretty cool pretty chic nowadays so i'm gonna go ahead with that click on accept then you have all these things step up your style uh yeah that seems good then there's your you know basic call to action so i'm gonna go with buy now for 50 percent off okay we're just gonna go with that and uh, then you're gonna choose a call to action button this can be pretty basic I'm just gonna go ahead and write shoes okay and shoes should appear so yeah that seems fair yeah let's go with that and I'm gonna click on next step now now as you're doing that on the right hand side you can also see the preview section where you're gonna see your logo your statements and your call to action which is pretty incredible then finally what's going to happen is you're going to add or generate images using a single background image okay so you can either generate a single image or generate multiple posts from multiple images so basically let me show you what it's like to upload a background image so as you can see i have this basic post over here right now what we're going to do is either you can search images online okay in their database so you know you can just go with this so let's say 
I'm going to go with the style, let's say, for example. So this is how you can search images online. And obviously, some of them are, you know, free. Some of them are paid. That obviously depends on you and whatever you want to go with. But in my opinion, I'm going to go with my own images because I have a few. So I'm going to click on upload images. And as you can see, it's going to open that up for us. So I'm going to upload images of some trainers that I took off of Nike's website. And once you get those, I'm going to go ahead and click on continue with selected. And there you go. It adds the trainers right under that. So then you can add a project name if you want to. I'm just going to keep that blank for now and go on next. Now you can also generate images with several backgrounds as well through the drop down menu where you can use a number of different images by clicking, you know, the image search engine where I showed you, you know, the paid and free images and add creative AI will come up with suggestions for you. So you can select images that you want to use anytime. And again, once you're done adding images, you can go ahead, wait for a few minutes for AI add creative to, you know, generate your posts. And as you can see, my posts have finally been generated. Now, this is the fun part because this is where you're going to have to select the posts which you want to go with. OK, so once Ad creative AI has generated your posts, you will have a ton of different options to you know choose from. So remember the images you uploaded to access all of them in the post, go through each preview. So, you know, there's tons and tons of different previews that you can go with. And uh, trust me, they all look great. Obviously, this bookmark that you can see of Ad Creative, this will go away once you, you know, get the royalties or download it. But you get the whole point. So just go with a design that you think is good and make sure the conversion score is good as well. We don't want to go with a low conversion score. And mostly the high conversion score designs are up here. So I'd say this one's pretty good. This one looks pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead with that. And once you like some design, you're just going to go ahead and click on download. And what that will do is it will obviously download it easily. And then you also have the bulk download option where you can just select as many designs as you like. And once you do that, click on download over here. And as you can see, you can download it all. So really great, really incredible and really easy stuff to get your head behind. And as you can see, you have finally got your drop hops post. So let me open it up and actually show you how it looks. So that's how it looks. And the quality is amazing. The build quality of everything looks great and it's absolutely immaculate. So basically, once you've gotten the concept of this, what we're going to do now is, you know, you can add different AdWords with different options. Now, speaking of AdWords, you can also go ahead and do different things with the generative ad creatives and the AIs that you have. So we're going to go on generate and on the right hand side in the third option corner, you're going to see add text. So this is generating text that utilize high conversion and copywriting methodologies. So I'm going to open that up. And once you open that up again, it's going to ask you for a website and uh, they recommend it, but it's not compulsory. So you don't really need to add it if you want to. Then basically you can write underrated form advertisement in this case, because, you know, small texts of advertisement are really important. And uh, I would always recommend people to add these small texts by themselves because it really helps people's, uh, you know, sense of advertisement, sense of branding and a whole lot of other things. So, you know, first of all, there's a text type that you can go with. So I'm going to go with, you know, short headline ads. Uh, then we're going to go with a very humorous tone. OK, output language. I'm going to go with English. I'm going to choose that. Then you obviously have the description. I'm going to go with this target audience, you enthusiasts by now 50. And then finally, we're going to generate the texts. And as the same as ad creatives, it's going to take a few seconds using the prompts that we just added. And, you know, once it likes the prompts that we've added, everything should be good enough to go. So we're just going to wait for it to load up. And here we are. So basically, Step into drop hops and walk the stock of style and comfort experience and style and comfort like never before. And you can go down and down and you're going to see all these great things with great conversion rates as well. So that's obviously ad text. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the features that you have on, you know, your ad creative AI, which is pretty incredible. So, again, first of all, you're going to go ahead and you're going to link your social media or AdSense account. Once you do that, basically, you're going to make some brandings that I taught you how to create. In this case, we just took up Nike's logo and then made our own brand off of it. 
you know, add all the details as you can. And once you've created a brand, go on generate. You have these two great options, add creatives and add texts. And both of these generate the best ads for you. And they generate the best ad revenue for you with the greatest conversion rates as well. Just go ahead and add the prompts as detailed as possible and everything should be good to go. So as you can see, these were the simple steps to creating an ad hassle-free and ad creatives, you know, precise work and great conversion rates can really help one's branding. Now, once we've talked about that, let me just finally go ahead and talk about the wonderful pricing plans that ad creative has. So basically there's the basic starter plan, which is normally $29, but right now it's on a discount. So you can go with $21 if you want to. It basically gives us 10 credits and downloads of the generated ad creatives where we can associate our brand and get all the insights into your you know, campaign's performance once you connect your ad accounts. And you can generate as many creatives as you want till the you know time that uh, you want to see it at. And then there's the premium, which is the professional, okay? The, it's yeah you could say the professional plans or you could go with the professional plans over here as well which is your startup professional plans these could you know cost you up to 141 dollars currently but normally it's 189 and then obviously there's agency plans but when it comes to professional plans the professional pack gives you 25 credits and uh, you know different generated ad creatives you can associate up to two brands and get all the insights into your campaign's performance once you connect your ad accounts you can generate as many creatives as you want till the time you like what you see. And then finally, there's the ultimate. Okay, so the ultimate gives you 50 credits per download, but obviously the price is a bit hefty. But you can associate your brand and get all the insights into your campaign's performance, get more than 15 million free image stock libraries for royalty free images for your ads and a whole lot more. So there are more plans on ad creative, the more the expensive and uh, the bigger the credits, downloads and users. So if you want to give ad creative AI a try, please do make sure to click my personal link in the description below to use ad creative AI for free. And if you are serious about creating high converting ads, again, I would recommend getting the premium plan on ad creative AI. Now, if you enjoyed watching and found this helpful, drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I will be making more for you. But yeah, that's basically about it. Thank you for watching this video till the end and I will see all of you incredible people next time. Goodbye.